Well, what's going on, everybody? My name is Spencer Ostrowski, and I'm with Kevin Kelly. I think I'm like the co-host of the show now, right? Pretty much. I mean, cool. I do my own episodes every once in a blue moon now. In any case, we just literally got back from the movie theaters. We saw Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It's fucking 1.30 in the morning. Dude. Yeah, so we are out here grinding for you guys. All for the content. So I guess we'll just kind of go into it. Let's start with the one sentence. Right yeah, there. there we go. Go ahead. Um, that was certainly a two hour and 15 minute film. It's actually, okay, well, let me say my one line. There are way too much people in this movie, Yeah, which is very ironic because the whole meme on the internet is that there's like critics are saying there's too much monsters in the movie, and I don't know what that means in any case. Godzilla, like by the time like we're halfway through the movie, Godzilla has been on the screen for about three minutes. He gets into Full the Full spoilers, movie. by the way. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's what every movie... We're going to spoil the movie for you and then tell you whether or not you should go see it. If you have ever seen any review for anything, it, the movie gets spoiled for you, especially IGN and all that stuff. Don't listen to them. We did it for, like, we after we had seen, like, Star Wars, we then watched an IGN review, and it will literally, like, just spoil it for you, like, entire scene. So, like, if, you, if you're watching a movie review, you're going to hear about the movie in any case. The only thing that a non-spoiler-free movie is going to literally just not tell you the ending. It's going to tell you everything that happens in between. In any case, we'll stay on topic. Godzilla, like, he comes into the movie in the beginning, which is better, because, like, he doesn't show up until, like, an hour and 20 minutes into the first, like, or the 2014 movie that had come out. And uh, the main problem I had with this movie, well, there's a lot of problems, but the main problem I had with this movie is that it thought, it, it like, <laughs> it kept going on with this story from five years ago, and no one cared about the characters. No one, first of all, no one's going to go back in time. Like, no one's going to go back, buy the DVD of this movie or watch it online. It, it was so bad. So why keep the same cast of characters that we don't care about? And you they almost assume that you're supposed to know like about these characters still when I f- forgot about them. Listen, I'm all for a big monster fight movie. That's why I bought a ticket to see this film tonight. I wanted to see Godzilla beat the shit out of the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And uh, like that's like... It, whatever like i understand that there are compromises you have to make story like you have to fit a story in there somehow there have to be people talking to make things like make sense i understand that and i'm willing to like just do whatever you got to do to get me to the monsters don't try and insult my intelligence by trying to make me like have like trying to make me believe in whatever story they have going on here because i feel like there was like way too much focus and emphasis on this really shit story and like to your point about like like it being so referential to the to the movie from 2014 like it's it's crazy because there are i know that the only person that i recognized that was in the first movie was ken watanabe and he was the best character he was the best human character in the movie as well and like if other people in this film were in that 2014 movie the only other person that i remember is brian cranston being in that movie if there were other people in that movie that were from the 2014 godzilla i wouldn't have fucking known right and so this is kind of I, I've been waiting to tell you this because I, I thought about it during the movie and in the car I wanted to wait to the podcast or the review or whatever the video I think the story would have been had done well if they kind of went like a World War Z route or it's just some guy kind of on the outside just kind of exploring this world that had b- been destroyed the by Arya big Stark monsters point yeah, of view right exactly where you're just kind of going along and like some guy is just traveling trying to get away from monsters and he just ends up like running into them multiple times or he's viewing like the news or some broadcast and then once you view broadcast obviously you can go into that scene like he doesn't have to be physically in every location if you see a broadcast he's looking at the tv you can zoom into the tv and then you're in the thing where the the broadcaster is like in the city where the monsters are happening you know like we don't need the story driven narrative we just need something to this because the characters serve one purpose in the movie it's to to progress the story to where we get these monster fights and there's a lot better ways to do it than trying to focus the story too much on these characters that really are inconsequential. I don't really need to fucking know the means and circumstances of why Ghidorah and Godzilla are fighting. I just want to watch them fight, and I want to see like the ramifications and the repercussions of that. I don't need to know why. I don't need to know how. I really don't. Not in this movie. Well, I mean, you can you can try, but there's just better means of doing it. Like the focus was too much on this like stupid family. Like I wish they had all died. Let's talk about the let's talk about the what's her what's her face Emma, the the lady who kind of just perpetrates this entire film. Who says oh yeah, I mean it's just I, I really don't care about them like she's no but like I felt 
uh, like I was offended by the character. Like I felt insulted. All, yeah, the, by the, the character. dialogue is very flat. Essentially, the whole movie, in case you like haven't noticed, is just one long King Kong trailer. They mention him like fifty times, and it's just like. It's so I was so, gonna get to that. I yeah. was gonna get to that. This movie like has Avengers: Age of Ultron syndrome, where it's just like, it's. All of this stuff is kind of just to set up the, uh, an eventual confrontation between Godzilla and King Kong, and it really just like, I don't like. It falls flat because it, no, it's almost to the they, point. It's yeah. almost to the point where like, I'm expecting King Kong to start running down the aisle like he's the ultimate warrior at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, like at the end of this movie, and like make the hot tag and and tag team Ghidorah. Yeah. The with first mention of, of King Kong is actually quite exciting in the movie. It, it's kind of cool, you know. You're like, wow, that's. Like you yeah. actually see him in this movie. Yeah, you you're see like a clip of him. you're like, whoa, this is really cool. Like, and then they keep jamming it down our throats. Like, no, they mention it probably like eight or ten times in this movie, and it just loses its shine by the end. You're like, you don't really see the point. I I don't like yeah. I just I really don't understand why. We all know that that movie is happening. You don't need to like. Like one, one or two references to Kong or Skull Island is fine to make sure. Like, it was hey, exciting, remember yeah. when it remember first, that he yeah. exists in this universe? But now it's just like I leaned over, like halfway through the movie, we like we set an over under on how many times Kong would be referenced or at least or even seen throughout the rest of the movie. And I think it like we set it at two and it, it busted blew us the, it yeah. blew that the fuck over. Skull Island was mentioned probably seventeen times. In any case, well, the characters. Okay, so obviously, the characters. characters are bad. They're not like. It's just not fun. Like it, those are the least enjoyable part of the movie. Like, with just the story focus on this family that and the thing is, that like, no one has feelings for. I don't want to talk about them. Like, yeah. but I, I, just, I legitimately wanted they to come take into up this most of the movie. I wanted to come into this review and be like, that was really fucking like the fights between Ghidorah and, and Godzilla yeah. so, and all these monsters yeah, we'll were cool. Get in, we'll get into it for the last part of this. So, like. All in all, like the movie, the the monsters were extremely well animated. Like it was pretty crazy. Special effects were incredible. Yeah. Yes, yeah, special effects were second to none. Godzilla looked really, really good. Like proportionately wise, like Super Saiyan Godzilla looked really yeah. cool. Yeah, the monsters, the other monsters were also like very well proportioned. Like they're kind of the same size as him, which which I liked. Like I didn't want to have something way bigger, way smaller than him. They kind of like had the the main body size, I guess, like equal each other. But they were all had these unique characteristics. Obviously, the main Monster Ghidorah, I think it's called Ghidorah. Ghidorah, that's right. Uh, he was, I mean, all these mon, like the three monsters had had their own personality, and he had this cool like lightning effect, and there are all these incredible shots. Like he like eats this like electric plant or whatever, and like there's a shot of his body like fully spread out, so it almost looks the size of a city, and there are all, all these electric things coming out. It's, it's awesome. And another scene I'm thinking of is the lava guy, like who comes out of the volcano. The when big he's like, lava bird. Yeah, when he's fighting the um, pilots and he's like spinning around in midair. That shit was cool. That I mean, that was really awesome. So we can't take that away from the movie. Like, I just wanted to see more of it. I exactly. wanted like that to be more I, of a focus. I was been totally okay. I'm telling you, like go like John Wick it. Like I fuck the story. I want yeah, like exactly. I want to see creative like sequences of like action and, and this kind of stuff. Yeah, That's sh- I appreciate the art in that. I don't appreciate the you trying to ham in this this really dumb story. It's with forced, these, obviously. Like with very these char- forced. Yeah, like with these characters that have like like the whole like driving force is like pseudo environmentalism. It's just like I was like I was like I wanted to get up and walk out of the theater at that point. Yeah, I walked out in the beginning to go to the bathroom because I was like I'll just wait until I see a monster. I walked out at multiple points in this movie, and I'm like I literally sat down from going to piss, and I like kind of like I I guessed to you. Like what had happened in the yeah. two minutes that I went and peed I also and guessed the whole like, was, like I'm gonna on. grab the nuke myself. Like I, it was so just coming. So we'll end the video on should you see it. In my opinion, no. Wait until the monster scenes come out on YouTube, literally, and or just watch it like on Netflix or something. I wouldn't. It's go it's see not this movie. it's it's not worth a full watch. I'm telling you, like I, I save your guys' money. I mean, because it's like it's long. It's just too, boring. Yeah, and it's, it's too long. long. If when you when I can I'll wa- rewatch the monster fights on YouTube because they come out in clips obviously and that's how the world works now. Mm-hmm. When you can see these clips, like they're genuinely really good. Like these monster scenes are incredible to watch. It's the only reason I stayed in the movie theater because I wanted to see them. So that being said, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Don't if you see really want to go see it? Fine, whatever. I think there will be don't. parts you enjoy. If yeah. you don't, if you're just a casual person, like should I see this movie? Just don't. Like it, it's it's a waste. Of, it's a waste of two hours. 
Well, it's not even fun to make fun of. So, yep. All right, guys. Enjoy the 10-minute video.